Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United, I'm of course George. Welcome along to the channel everybody again and it's a final introducing video again. I put one out uh, yesterday um, looking at Joe Gellhart. Today it is last but not least our Norwegian goalkeeper Christopher Klaassen. Now the second Norwegian to feature in this list, of course way back when I started the introducing series, I had a look firstly at um, Leo Helde, uh, so we start and end the series with our Scandinavian friends, uh, the Norwegian um, countrymen, both of them Norwegian, Helde and Klaassen. And so, yeah, turn of Christopher Klaassen, uh, born in Oslo, Norway, and he played for Valerenga, um, signed at a very young age, and made his debut for them at the age of 18. And he was pretty much, um, any Valerenga fans watching, any Norwegian fans watching, welcome along to the channel, and, um, you know, hope everybody's well and looking forward to the final game of the season uh, come on Leeds um, but yeah let me know my pr pronunciations uh, but Valerenga is where Klaassen uh, started his footballing career um, obviously his local team really in, in Oslo and um, he, he soon broke into the first team like I said at the age of 18 and, and was and, you know and he, and he made overall in his stay uh, there at the club, he made 56 appearances for a sort of really young goalkeeper. That's very good. And obviously, he's only one of a handful of, of these um, you know youth players to make the debuts for Leeds United in the Premier League this season. To have played first-team football elsewhere before making the debuts with Leeds, he is one of them. Uh, and he's got good experience. He's experience, of course, as well. In the Norwegian under 21 side, um, 10 appearances I think for them as well. So he's got good experience. Um, obviously signed for us uh, last summer. Obviously a lot of these players, majority of them, were part of that promotion winning, title winning uh, team of, of last season. Uh, Klaassen is, is one exception to, to that there. Um, Team, he obviously was playing for Valerenga last season and, and stepped into Leeds in the summer. Um, and yeah, look, a lot of people have said about Klaas, and unfortunately, he doesn't seem to have impressed a lot of the fan base um, in the under 23s. You know, what people that have seen the under 23s play, the under 23s nowadays get a lot of exposure. They play at Ellen Road, you know. I think, is it season ticket holders can go for free and this sort of thing. So they're playing in front of thousands of fans, you know, uh, more than some lower league teams get in the stadiums. So it's good experience uh, for these young lads. Of course, class and 21, a little bit older than uh, most of the lads featured in this series. But he is a youth player nonetheless and, and one that has, um, you know, made the step up into the first team after making his debut with the under 23s but yeah I don't think he's for many fans I don't know he's not quite there yet but you know he's obviously been a part of the relegation side in the under 23s unfortunately got relegated recently from um, the, the, the their division that they got promoted to last time um, but Klaassen I don't think really Klaassen has anything to do with that um, he's learning still, it's a new country, he's got to adjust to everything. It applies to the same as it does for a first team player, as it does for, for an under 23 t uh, team player. He's still coming from a new country, learning the culture of the country uh, and everything like that. But any Norwegian fans, let me know again, how have you watched any um, Valerenga games? Um, how good is he and how good can he be? Because I don't think what we've seen of him so far in the under 23s has been um, a clear representation of how how he is, how he plays. Um, but, you know, he steps in um, and makes his debut. This is why he's why we're looking at him um, today. He made his debut in March, of course. 
that game where we were 2 0 down at half time. Elan Melier, who's only a year his senior, I think, isn't he? He's not much older than Clarkson. Um, gets an injury and has to come off um, in the in the first half. Is it towards the end of the first half, or is it? In the, no, sorry, it's in the second half, isn't it? He, he comes on, and Clarkson, to be fair to him, made a couple of good saves, kept a clean sheet in you know in goal that day. Premier League debut. He must have been absolutely buzzing with that, and uh, obviously he was on the pitch to see us uh, nick a last minute winner and to win that game what scenes at Molyneux that night wasn't it that Friday night and it won Friday night he will never forget congratulations to him on making his debut he's on the bench constantly he is the second choice goalkeeper he is always on the bench um, but he was he was a player that you know Leeds looked at and wanted from from very early on it became clear that we were looking at free goalkeepers free standing goalkeepers for, uh, as understudy to Elan Melier in the summer um, and Clarkson was the one that they wanted and, and, and like I said he's got good for a young player young goalkeeper because obviously goalkeepers go on longer nowadays don't they tend to then outfield players um, you know he he was one that they wanted and he's obviously got experience um, you know obviously you can say what he wants about the Norwegian league but it's still senior football isn't it and it, you know He's playing international senior football for his age group as well. So it's good experience for him. And, you know, who knows? Unfortunately, again, we don't know at this point what division we're going to be playing in next season. But Elan Melier is, you know, again, like many of our star men in our team, he has suitors and, and will he go in the summer if we do get relegated? The exposure of the Premier League, um, has, you know, it's given him a lot of exposure uh, the Premier League and obviously he's in the limelight as being pretty poor defensively this season well very poor defensively this season he's had lots to do which has obviously put him further into the limelight really so if he is to go I think Clarsen I think Marsh will be quite happy to see Clarsen step into the number one spot um, and if it is in the championship like I said maybe that you know he can cut his teeth um, down there, as Elian Melier did, didn't he, uh, in the promotion winning season where he had to step in for the disgraced uh, Kiko Kasia, who of course will be coming back in the summer, but hopefully not for long as he will get shipped off um, somewhere else and we can wash our hands of him once and for all. But um, yeah, Christopher Kalarsson, for me, if we go down, will be our number one. Um, and maybe Elia Capril will come back and be in his, be his understudy if Ilan, Ilan Melier does end up going. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Christopher Klaassen. Like I said, any Norwegian fans perhaps might know a bit more about him than what we do. And, and like I said, the true reflection of him might not be what we've seen so far of him in a Leeds United shirt. So let's wait and see. But leave your comments below. Thank you very much for watching. It is the end of that series. Again... Any you know any new players make it? Any youth players, sorry, making their debuts next season? I will be continuing this series next season as well for any that you know step make the step up and make their debuts. I'm sure there will be quite a few, uh, but ten in all um, this season and counting as well. There might be one more for me to do quickly before the season is done if we see any uh, debutants on Sunday uh, but let's wait and see on that one anyway I'm rattling on answer now so thank you very much for watching marching on together I'll see you on the next one